Alright, I had to shoot you guys. I don't know how good this camera's coming in now. But I had to shoot you guys another video because this thing has gone from bad to worse. I mean, you can tell. I'm going to have to get off to the shoulder somewhere off to the side of the road and pull over and clean my wipers off. I mean, they've gotten horrible. The other window is is 10 times worse. I can't even hardly see out of it. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to shoot you guys this video here. Um, earlier I shot a video and it wasn't this bad, but it went from bad to worse. It's really bad out here. So I got to get off to the shoulder of the road somewhere so I can clean these wiper blades off because I cannot see hardly shit out my window. And I got to keep rolling until I can find somewhere to safely pull off. And I don't want to pull off somewhere where I'm going to get stuck either. But yeah. Screwed up day, man. Fuck. It sucks. All day long, this been, shit's been going on all day. I knew it was going to be fucking doing this through this stupid state. I'm going to be surprised if they don't shut the road down because it's getting really bad. i seen a snowplow going west earlier, but um, it looks like it's been a while since they've cleaned this road off. I'm going to break the ice apart and turn up my heater and get a full blast on the defrost try to get some of this ice to melt off the windshield. This is freaking crazy, man. I cannot believe this shit. Wow, man, you know what, guys? Just day before yesterday, or yesterday, I was still in some pretty good weather, but day before yesterday, I was in 70 degree weather. I was over in Riverside, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas, and 70 degrees. You come out here to the Midwest, and you're fucked. And I got somebody on the shoulder of the road up here. I'm gonna slow down, and he's coming on. Always, always expect that. It's always somebody pulling onto the freeway. That's why I said always leave yourself. Earlier, when that guy pulled out in front of me, man, he. It, this camera, um, I noticed that it shows further distance. It looks like they're further away than they are. But that guy was like really close to me when he pulled out in front of me. So, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, yeah, if you got to use your jade brake, stage two, uh, engine fan. It's a little trick that I use. Like I said, it helps to slow the motor down. Uh, without slowing the drivers down, causing them to lock up in the ice. Anyway, my on guard, as I said earlier, the camera, it got covered up with the snow. So, the camera, the thing on the dashboard will turn red and it'll say radar uh, error. That's my wiper blades. That's the ice on my wipers, man. I, the one wiper blade, it ain't even, it ain't even touching the passenger side of the vehicle. I got to pull over, man. I got to clean out my window. But anyways, uh, this thing will turn red instead of blue. The blue is a good color. That means nobody's in front of you. Uh, green, you're getting kind of close. Yellow, you got to back off a little bit. Red, you're too close. So this thing will light up red if there's a system error or radar error or whatever. It lights up red. So even sometimes when it'll get dirty, and it's dry outside and it's just the truck's dirty that thing will light up red i lose complete uh cruise control i have no cruise control but that's probably the reason why that happened to me it's a good thing because the brakes didn't lock up on me when that fucking dodge pulled out in front of me and it's just two young girls driving so anyways yeah look at this shit out here lovely weather out here in nebraska not believe this crap. Fuck, man. I was already pressed for time too, getting my load there, and hopefully I can I can get this thing delivered. Uh, looks like a pretty bad storm through here. I mean, 
it wasn't this bad at home and we don't even have, I mean, we have snow plows that clean the roads off, but they don't. They don't clean the roads off in Oregon. Some parts they do, but not over in Portland anyway. Uh, yeah, and nobody was hardly going out in this shit. Here I am, I'm driving in it. A lot of people drive in this, they clear the roads off, but I don't know. I guess I'm screwed. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys this video for um, from when I filmed it earlier. You know, you see now there was black ice out on the road, but now it's snow on top of black ice. And yeah, and I'm driving about 30, 35 miles an hour. So. I don't know what to do, man. I just want to get there and get parked. I probably will have trouble parking too because it'll be a little bit later in the evening. And if it's any like this further up east, I, a lot of the trucks will just pull over and stop for the night. But not moi. I'll drive the road until they close it. Like I said, if I gotta throw chains on, I will, but um, I really don't feel like it, but yeah. So, anyways, if you guys, like I said, if you guys are out there driving in this shit, please, 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 whatever you do, do not pull out in front of a big truck because he's going to start sliding. And then don't pull out in front of him and then hit your brakes. I mean, that was downright idiotic right there. I mean, the snowplow was probably moving about two miles an hour on the side of the road and he was coming to a stop. So the car just decided to get right over in front of me. And, you know, I got a lot of weight behind me. Um, like I said, I'm 42,000 pounds in the box. I'm 79, 680 all together. And that little car probably weighs about 1,400 pounds and it would have just shoved it right off into the dish or up in a tree somewhere. Even only going 35 miles an hour and pulling out in front of somebody like that. Was, I don't know. I don't think that I should have to hit my brakes in that situation. I'd rather ass in the person in front of me and push him off the side of the road, let him get off the side of the road instead of slamming on my brakes, having somebody rear in me and then the person behind me getting all fucked up in a big truck and jackknifing in the road, and killing a bunch of people behind us. I'd just rather just push the person off that's in front of me off to the side of the road. But I hope this is a rest area up here where I can pull over because this is really fucked up and I cannot see shit. Man, fuck it. Damn, guys. I mean, you can probably barely see out this camera. The road is fucked up and it's getting dark. I just love challenges, man. Love them. Every day, every day, a new challenge. Now this is right here is what they call white knuckle driving. A lot of people will be white knuckling it. But I'm so damn used to it, man. If I, if I could see right now, it'd be a lot better. I mean, I can see, but it's not very good. I can tell you that, not very good at all. like to be in Hawaii somewhere on the beach. Shit. Or back in California. I'd rather be stuck in traffic there than dealing with this shit out here. Hey, Kenya, I got another truck in front of me about, he's about 500 feet up in front of me and he's slowing down and stopping. I don't know if you can see him breaking up there or not, but yeah off the road. Wow, man. Yeah, okay. This is freaking crazy, guys. Anyways, I've been in a lot worse situations than this, so. You just got to take your time and be patient. Whatever you do when you're driving in this shit, do not tense up. It's what I call is when you're tensed, you hit a little bump, you seem to flinch a lot, you know. You'll be flinching and tightening up and you flinch and one wrong move, man, and off you go. So, anyways, I'm going to end the video.
video. You guys driving out here in this shit, be safe, man. Take care. Thanks for watching.